Hello everybody and welcome to a series that is quickly becoming Star Lost Does a Thing. I'm Oz. And I'm Ray. And I'm Jess. The plan for today, we'll, or well, Jess, will be drawing a random Pokemon as a D&D monster. The problem is, Jess doesn't know what Pokemon we've chosen. It's up to me and Ray to describe it to her in probably an unhelpful way. And then we'll see what kind of terror from the deep Jess manages to come up with. Yes. It'll be great. It'll be epic. It'll <laughs> some straight out of Mordenkainen's. Or, okay, something that was rejected for Mordenkainen and then ended up in our book. Yes, yes. Okay, let's switch on to Jess. Yes. Starting us off, the creature type of this Pokemon is, it would either be a beast or a m monstrosity. Ray, what do you mm -hmm. think it would be? Um, I think... In the instance of this specific one, it would be a monstrosity. Yeah, that's but true. It does have a lot of beast-like attributes to it, but there's monstrosities that just look <laughs> like an animal. Yeah, an owlbear is a monstrosity for some reason. Mm -hmm. It is a... Okay, so starting off with, like, a shape, it is a bipedal hound. Mm-hmm. <laughs> starting okay. off bipedal, with... you said. Yes, bipedal nice. hound. Scale of like one to ten, how chunky is he? Ooh. It would be a medium sized creature. Medium, okay. So like a so like a five. Or like <laughs> yeah, yeah, a five. You're saying the... a medium sized creature, but I'm like, there's so much that's so wide in terms of medium. A, f a five is a medium. If you order a medium, you're expecting the middle of the road. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How humanoid, though? Like, you said wolfy. You Bipedal said wolf hound. Or what did you say? Hound. hound -like. Okay, so hound-like. So from, like, wolf standing on its hind legs to furry to a dude with wolf ears. What what are we standing on here? I'd give you a solid seven. All right. <laughs> so, like, <a> Which <laughs> direction that seven furry. is? Feel free. <laughs> All to right. give you more of its vibes as well. Um, it fights using melee and magic bursts. Melee and magic burst. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm actually trying to think of the Pokemon. <laughs> no, feel free to not do that. <laughs> it's fighty and it has access to magic. Not just magic bursts, magic eyes. Magic eyes, too. Huh? It can read your mind. Telepathy. Pog. That's such a smarter word for what I just said. <laughs> I, I have an Gotta idea think, for what me. this Pokemon is, but I could be wrong. But I'm just going off of what I think it is. And it would technically have something akin to detect magic. Yeah. Mm, okay, that definitely... Could you tell me what its main color is? Black and red. Black and red? Black and red. <laughs> Alright, well never mind, boys! <laughs> Oh, uh, well, black, red, and yellow. Black, red, what, and would, yellow. what were you thinking? Lucario. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Uh, yeah, like a hound bipedal. Black, red, and yellow. Then my next thought is Lycanroc, but Lycanroc is like a rock and what? And like. <laughs> Give you the vibes. The Pokedex just calls it heartless and ruthless. The Pokedex is not pulling any punches with this dude. Mm. Black, red, yellow. You, do you remember the gen? Or do, can you tell me the gen of what this Pokemon is? Six. Gen six. Also, Lycanroc <laughs> could have been a choice. <laughs> uh, maybe? I don't Does know. <laughs> I'll give you a solid maybe. Maybe. All right. As in, that could be a tail, or it could just be a stray piece of fur. <laughs> All right. I like how you're leaning into this very top-heavy man. Just, I don't know. This is just kind of the, the silhouette that I end up defaulting to a lot. Mm -hmm. And you said it could either be a tail or a yeah. stray piece of um, fur, possibly Gen I, 6. I'll Super also give you another thing for the vibes. It would have high dexterity for its stats. I think high so it, high Skinner, you told me a five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I will point out, you didn't 
tell me a scale. I just said the number five. <laughs> yeah, but five is straight in the middle regardless. You told me, like, it's like, oh, it's right in the middle. So I'm like, all right, so he's bulkier, but not too bulky. Um, I, I think we've really taken a good cop, bad cop approach to this. Very clearly, just in everything, Ray has taken the good cop approach. I've taken the bad cop unhelpful approach. Because <laughs> I love her. And I'm apathetic Love you to too, her. bestie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the placement of these eyes. Cause, yeah, because uh, you told me it could also, like, detect magic. So I'm like, I've completely given up on the aspect of trying to figure out what this Pokemon is. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, now I'm just kind of designing a monster of some kind. I could read you one of its flavor texts. Oh, please. Like please, yeah. Um, Bathed in explosive energy, its combative instincts have awakened. For its enemies, it has no mercy whatsoever. See, I keep thinking Gen 6, but now I don't know if this is actually Gen 6. Gen 6 is Kalos. And I'm like... Does this design feel French of, to you? What the fuck came out of Kalos, bro? <laughs> like, I, like, anything past Gen 5, I just don't know. Like at all. I I'm like, you could yeah. show me like Snom, and I'm like, I don't know what gen that came from. Okay, no, I lied. J J Snom is from whichever one the fucking. No, never mind. I don't know which one. I I don't know. Like Gen Six is a massive void in my head where it's like Gen Five happened and then Gen Seven happened, and I don't remember what happened in between. <laughs> See, I do actually like Gen 6, so I'm like, but the thing is, is that when it started to become, like, what do you call it? Like, with the newer generations, mm -hmm. I stopped being as obsessed with Pokemon. Like, I love Pokemon, but I stopped being as obsessed with it as I was, as, like, as a kid. So, like, the distinction between gens, like, stopped being super, like, like getting to know every single Pokemon like, down to a T, like, stopped being as relevant for me. Yeah. So I was, like, I know a lot of the bigger ones. Like, I know, like, you know, for the newest gen, it's, like, I know that I, I love Small Liv, I love LeChunk, I love, like, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I love Pillowatrol, that sort of thing. But I don't know the other half. I'm, like, I couldn't tell you half of the other Pokemon, really. There's um, a real Sun and Moon? Line. Forget it. I don't know anything <laughs> from Sun and Moon. <laughs> I was, like, massive into Gen 5, like, everybody Love our Gen age 5. was. Okay, it feels weird to say our age. Your okay, age and my age. Okay, come on now. <laughs> my age. <laughs> Let's make a distinction here. <laughs> All Gen 6 Pokemon are Gen 7 Pokemon to me, because that's when I, like, first saw them. Mm -hmm. And any of the Pokemon that just weren't good enough to make it past, <laughs> I don't know. See, I have a thing. Like, I'm not really good at distinguishing Gens in general mm -hmm. like i'm really good at like if like i'm like oh is that a gen 5 pokemon hell yeah i know that one but like i got into pokemon like a lot when everything up to gen 4 was out so like to me i was like oh all of these pokemon are kind of lumped together so gen 1 to 4 like obviously i know some things that came out gen 1 like i'm like okay yeah eevee was from gen 1 and then the original three evolutions are from gen 1 and then I know, like, you know, Bulbasaur's Gen 1, that sort of thing, right? Some some Pokemon, like, I'm just, I couldn't fucking tell you what gen that came from. Like, Frostless? I don't know. I think Frostless is awesome, but I don't I don't remember what fucking Three. gen that came from. Yeah, gen they kind of vibe, okay. though. Like, Frost Glass, I can guess is Hoenn just based on vibe. Actually, <laughs> Jess, let me throw some, uh, it is covered in spikes, by the way. Covered in spikes? Yeah, covered in spikes. Shit, all right, well... These hairs are going to turn into spikes then. What, what is this a spike? Is so Put a point here. here. <laughs> we, we made Wait, a Sonic OC. Is this Sonic? Yeah, this is just... This is Sonic... Wait. Uh, oh my god. What was that one Sonic game? You know, the one where he like turns oh, into unleashed. a werewolf? This is Sonic unleashed. Unleashed. Yeah, this is, this is Sonic Unleashed the bad ending. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like... If Dr. Eggman actually did some proper damage and didn't just turn him into just a werehog. I he guess. was infected by the piss on the moon. <laughs> hey Oz, would you like to share what it is vulnerable to? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Vulnerable types. That let's helps. give it let's call its two main vulnerability. It is vulnerable to fire and it's vulnerable to blunt weapons. Fire and blunt weapons? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
What kind of Pokemon? Every Pokemon is <laughs> like to blunt weapons, bro. It's, it's like in Pixelmon where you could just beat up a Pokemon yourself before throwing a Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so fire and blunt weapons. So I assume you are not some immune to my baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's some kind of grass type, maybe in that case. Because like, mm, what else is weak to fire? Shit. <laughs> Uh, steel is weak to- oh, steel is weak to fire, too, huh? But would steel be weak to blunt weapons? Is that uh, <laughs> if you swung a baseball bat at a steel wall, I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah, so maybe it's just a grass type, then. I'm trying to remember what's weak to gra- like, to fire, and I'm like, oh, ice type? Ice type is also weak to fire? Yeah. Because, like, if it was, like, some kind of, like, hound- that's like also because then because you're telling me it has like some kind of detect magic thing going on and i'm like okay if it has some kind of detect magic thing that means it's either fairy or psychic type right and i'm like okay so my brain is my my gut is telling me psychic type so it's got to be something psychic maybe the third eye would fit that aesthetic yeah yeah so i'm just like hmm hound like bipedal there's no fucking way this is meow stick, right? There's like no fucking way. <laughs> Again, I've got no idea what Pokemon you've just said. I think oh, that's, okay. that, that is, is a, Gen Six. <laughs> that is a meowth with a weapon, as far as <laughs> a meow stick. No, well, meow stick is the evolution of Esper. It's like a, it's it's like a, it's not a hound, so but cute. I'm like I'm Esper's very cute. It's, yeah, it is. It's like a psychic type, um, but I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound right. Um, Let me give you another thing. It mm -hmm. has black lines channeling explosive energy. Black lines channeling explosive energy. You said mostly black and red and yellow. Is this fucking Eveltal? Because that's not hound-like either. <laughs> but I'm like... I feel like we could play a game of two truths and a lie, but it's like anything I've said versus anything Ray said. Yeah, it's like, I'm just assuming by this point that Oz is lying and Ray is giving me proper facts, <laughs> but also Ray is a diabolical genius, so I'm like, I don't know what? what is correct and what isn't. We're using the rules of, like, Labyrinth, where one of us tells the truth, the other only lies. Yeah, yeah, the fucking... Uh, I don't think I've lied yet. Ray's gonna disagree astray, with though. I've certainly <laughs> mistruthed. Just to, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll also give you this. Um, these two sentences from Bulbapedia. Its cream uh, fur becomes longer and its thighs slim down. It develops more spikes, spikes on the back of its paws, which have turned crimson. What? Okay, now I really don't know what Pokemon this is. Huh? What <laughs> the... What? Cre okay, cream fur... Okay, first of all, you said it was mostly black, so it's got cream fur on its hand, on its paw. Oh, uh, okay. What they call so cream, I called yellow. Paws. Oh, okay. Okay, so it do got paws, though. It do got paws, and then they're spiky on the back. And they're spiky on the back. And My brain keeps... Crimson. Yeah, and it turns crimson on the on its paws. I'm like, okay, hang on. Is it... Because it says my brain that it keeps going back to like Sand Slash. I'm like, there's no fucking way it's Sand Slash. Because <laughs> Sand Slash is not this edgy. <laughs> <laughs> but DMD is. DMD is, yeah. Marie said a Bulbapedia entry? Yeah. <laughs> what party do you think would fit? Not the Pokemon, but whatever Jess has just drawn. Nothing but ghost types. Ghost and dark types. This is the secret fourth evolution. This is the gen. Like, like screw, screw Dynamaxing. Screw, like, Mega Evolution. This is a fourth evolution of Lycanroc. No, this is Mega Lycanroc. This is Mega, mega Lycanroc. Lycanroc. Night. It's definitely it a Mega Evolution. Type. It becomes Psychic type. Basically. Well, since Oz mentioned it's a mega evolution, I will say in its region, it is believed to be the first discovered mega evolution. The first discovered? Oh, so it does have a mega. Okay. Yeah, definitely a Pokemon with a mega. And I think we should end with the final twist. It's a steel type Pokemon. Okay, so it is steel. Is this fucking Mega Lucario? Because I remember Mega Lucario has like... It's Mega Lucario.
It's Mega Lucario? Yeah. Fuck! I was so close <laughs> in the beginning. But yeah. I was on it. You I was on it with the beginning. You <laughs> said first Lucario, chance. I was like, hmm. Me and Ray had a moment of like, okay, well, this wasn't going to be as hard as we thought it was. <laughs> You're leading me so astray. You know? I Yeah, you know? I think I think we've got the final design here. Yeah. I think we've got it. We've got the. This is what Mega Lucario should have been, I think. I think people would <laughs> recognize this as, as Lucario, too. <laughs> that, yeah, that looks good. I think we've we've got something here. I think we've here. got it. You could throw it yeah. at your next, like, level 10 party. I think <laughs> level true. 10 is a good place for this. It is a null that's gone terribly wrong. I would also like to be friends with him. Lotus would want to be friends with him. Yeah, I think it'd be fun because then, like, you have, like, this, like, face section here and it, like, opens up, like, all the way down to its neck. I didn't think about the mechanics of it. it <laughs> I opens always do. Jaws. This is how you design things. We've come to an interesting point of in the video where I didn't plan an outro. So I think the oh. video is over. Bye, everybody. All right, bye. Check out Kofi. Check out Kofi. Check out Kofi.